do you think that this is a permanent mark? Do you think that this takes Will Smith from an international superstar star to someone who is perhaps looked upon as less than in Hollywood. I don't believe that that's going to happen. I believe that he makes too much money for Hollywood. If they can fucking forgive Mel Gibson's anti-Semitic, racist, woman-beaten ass, certainly they can forgive this man who has been clean for over 30 years for a huge, 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 huge mistake. But I would like oh, to... Wait, we, can, we can cuss on you? We can cuss on you? Yeah, yeah, we can curse that's on you, so girl. That's so, listen, that's so good to know. <laughs> no, you know, I, I agree with you. I mean, the fact of the matter is that Will Smith is the biggest box office star in the world. Yes, yeah. his, his box office totals, I would say the last seven to ten years, have not done what his box office totals did the first 20, but it's undeniable what his talent is and how big of a star he is in Hollywood. Outside of what he does on the screen, you look at his social media presence alone. There is value in currency and having that kind of a reach. His production company is making now Oscar winning projects, but yeah. also projects that we are tapped into. I mean, you know, when you look at streaming projects, Bel Air is pretty hot. You know, critically yes. speaking, it's excellent. You know, and, and we're going to get more of that and we're going to get more of that creativity. But I think, you know, there's going to be a, a cooling down period. You know, I know this is a little bit of insider baseball for perhaps for your, for your listeners, but what I will say is that. The people who Will Smith is repped by, his publicist, the yes, best indeed. in the business. That's the right. The best in the business. And I know those women, and I'm sure they are working, trying to figure out mm -hmm. who he speaks to first. Is it Robin Roberts or is it Gail King? Or, or, or we got to tap into Auntie Oprah. You, you know oh, what we I mean? Get we, Oprah. Got, we, might, yeah. we, might, we might be doing a primetime Meghan Markle, you know, yes. like special. You know, yeah. and really and really have him talk about that because it's difficult to really explain, I think, emotionally what all he was thinking about and what all was going on in that moment during an acceptance speech. You know, a friend of mine who also was there last night brought up a really excellent point, and that is that, you know, for the last year and a half, certainly before then, but most recently in the last year and a half, Will and Jada have been mocked incessantly, you know, mm -hmm. memed. And, and made fun of rap songs made about them. And perhaps they thought, and I think we need to give them a little bit of grace for this, but perhaps they thought they were coming into a comfortable room with yes. their friends yes. and that would be a safe space for them mm -hmm. on what was going to be the biggest night of his career. Yeah. And probably was caught off guard by that. I think it started before before Chris Rock, you know, made the crack. Yeah. And, and we don't know what else was happening. But also, you know, baby, this is very real. When you talk about celebrities and celebrity culture, I think a lot of us don't give them the same grace that we give our friends our, our, and our yeah. family members. You know, mm -hmm. we, we don't allow them to be human and have emotions and have experiences and have fuck-ups you know, sometimes, yeah. um, and recover from those fuck ups in the way that we allow other people to do that. And that's why I, and I said, that... I said, no one wants to be judged for the worst moment in their lives. You don't, exactly. no one wants to be, and, and no one can hold up to that scrutiny.